Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have beautiful journals and a couple supplies to share with you today. These are all added to my website. You can find the link below. You can find my email below if you have any questions as well. So I kind of just put all these journals here in the middle of my filming desk. So let me see if I can move a couple out of the way so we can get right into it. Let's take a look. We're going to actually start off with two Christmas journals. And since this is the end of July, it's kind of like Christmas in July. And um, these are from Kim Warwick. And this one says Jingle Bells. Look at that owl on there. Oh my goodness. So if you're still have not settled, which is fine if you haven't yet, I mean, it's just July, but if you haven't settled on a journal for this Christmas yet, consider this one really cute, perfect layout and setup for memory keeping for the um, Christmas month. It would be fun to do with your kids as well or maybe give as a gift to your kids' teachers, maybe something that could be done in a classroom um, as well. So there's Jingle Bells, and then there is uh, Winnie the Pooh, The Sweetest Christmas. I might have to, got a lot of shadows going on here, put up my little sheer curtain so we can see clearly. So it's a little golden book junk journal, similar layout to the other one, but it is using the Pooh story from uh, the Christmas sweetest, whatever it was called, the sweetest Christmas. So we have those two Christmas journals. Then we have, look at this uh, very lovely pouch, really high quality. You can wish you could feel it. And then let's see what's in. Look at that. Huh? It is so cute. The little belt is made out of the same fabric and it is a fabric covered journal. Okay, this is Giselle Parker. So this is a challenge journal, a June challenge journal. Um, today is July 30th. Tomorrow's the last day of the month. I'm going to try to finish up, I think I can, I hope I can, uh, finish up the June Challenge Journals tomorrow, and then Monday I will announce the August um, journals, and we will begin showing the July Challenge Journals. So if any of that doesn't make sense, send me an email or head over to my Facebook group because I have pinned posts about that. So this is from Giselle, and this is called Miss Celtic Rose. She has a list of the digitals and everything she's used in here. From my shop, she's used Wisteria and Hydrangea, Wisteria and Roses, um, Hydrangea and Butterfly, Celtic Rose, and Celtic Rose postcards. All of those can be found in my shop under my digitals, uh, Lindsay's digitals, and also under Joanne's digitals. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, look at how lovely. I have definitely been using my die cutting machine more but still not enough. When I see what some of my artists do using die cuts, totally inspires me. I love this. Okay, so this is one of those giant playing cards. Um, it looks like I have a few of these. They're so fun. And she backed it so you could journal on the cardstock, but then she decoupaged a few, uh, maybe a napkin piece over it and gessoed it so you could actually write something on the front as well but I love that this is Celtic Rose so pretty little um, sweet book pages look at that oh more decoupage I do not decoupage enough either okay so this says open and twist. Oh, oh, it's one of those little journal twists. Super cute. Open for journaling space. There's a little pen. It says, enjoy the moment. It's really nice when you actually get a pen with your journal. And then this is a writing board. So when you're writing, like if we're going to write on this page, we can stick it here and you have a really solid surface. So that's what that is. Vintage postcard from Germany. 
I love when my artists put little sticky notes like this on it because not only do I know what it is because I don't I don't know if they don't tell me but it's really nice whoever buys it gets all those little notes look at that she wrote did rose and then a little beaded safety pin isn't that beautiful it's a little lace pocket and just a little, little flip you could embellish your journal on copy dyed paper vellum places to add photos more journal cards little coloring pages more die cuts this is Joanne's hydrangea and butterflies little vintage book page little fabric flip I'm not even showing every page but there's so much incredible inspiration here look at the puzzle piece this is a textured paper so pretty look at that tag gorgeous love it you could um, decorate the cover with your favorite image if you wish or leave it understated with just the belt to accent it and this is a really nice pouch it's going to protect the journal really well not only would it make an excellent gift but if you're traveling your journal has its own little suitcase and it is absolutely adorable so there's that one and that's from Giselle okay let's set that aside I think she made this one too look at that cute little tote so here's a little handmade tote and I wish you could feel how robust this is like this is a tote that you could use for something else if you wished it is very very well made Isn't that beautiful like you could use it as a little library book bag or put your yarn in it and do your knitting or store your journal in it so this is the journal it matches what a beautiful beautiful fabric three signatures hopefully I can get this in frame it's called Miss Hydrangea and she's used pretty much the same digitals Miss Hydrangea has on your digitals as her clothes check out those shoes oh look at that so she cut out pieces of the digital paper to accessorize her I never would have thought to do that but that is so amazing and it is a similar journal to the rose one but it's focusing more on the purples and the hydrangea so gorgeous <laughs> look at that playing card that is so cool it's a little vintage postcard really old this is from wisteria and hydrangea Jane Austen so pretty and then you have love more worry less there's a pen there you even get like altered um, paper clips ribbon paper clips that you can use throughout a whole bunch of just fun things like look at this is St. Charles Place from Monopoly and even the Monopoly money was turned into a journal card I never thought about actually turning game pieces into journal cards I've sold game pieces I've used game pieces but I've never turned them into journal cards and now the idea is seared in my brain I love that idea open and twist so you can journal on that look at that stationery. this is so incredible oh, journal cards little clips here's another big altered jumbo playing card these are my Celtic Rose postcards. You can get those in my shop. Look at how pretty. There's modeling paste on that. Little journal card. So pretty. These are all little tuck spots, the butterflies are. And then here's, she did it, Miss Hydrangea again, and she used digitals for the clothes again. Look at the beading little lace pocket in the tag gorgeous copy dyed paper Wow I like this so this is just a book page but she added this little um, piece of paper that says add photo so it's giving you an idea what to do with this side you can put a photo or something right over there sometimes we draw blanks or we're new to junk journaling and that just kind of tells us an idea oh we can put something on this look at that 
How beautiful. I think that's an altered playing card too. There's an embroidery piece, some beading. It's a little playing card. Gorgeous stationery you can write on. Little, I think this is an envelope, a little pouch. And there's a writing board in the back. Oh my word, it is truly beautiful. I am so inspired right now. I'm kind of shaking my head like, wow. And of course, the little tote to protect it, to carry it in. And people get asked questions about, what is that? What are you carrying? And you can say, well, it's my journal. And then show how amazing that is. It's a great conversation starter. All right, let's take a look at the next journal. Look at this one. So this is painted, hand-painted purple. Of course, you could decorate it up or leave it simple. It also just looks so pretty on the shelf. This is from Kim Warwick. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a challenge journal. Maybe it's not. Let's see if I see any of the digital. She didn't write it. Maybe it's not. It's just a pretty purple journal. I think she tucked it into the, um, box that had the challenge journals, just like with the Christmas ones. Love these tree playing cards. Yeah, it's just a regular junk journal with these gorgeous nature and purple. Look at that. I love the paper she chose here. There's so much potential with that. So beautiful. Here's another one. Now this one I think is a challenge because this label is from Wisteria and Hydrangea. Let's see. So this is Kim Warwick again. And yes, Celtic postcards, ghosted butterflies, hydrangea and butterflies, wisteria and hydrangea. So this is a challenge journal. So pretty. Look at the birds. This probably the most popular image in wisteria and hydrangea. A lot of you chose to put that on the cover. I think that you're really going to like the September challenge that I will announce on Monday. It is vintage tea themed. Well, it doesn't have to be, it's not exactly vintage tea themed. It's tea party themed and you could take it whatever direction you want to take it because um, some of the digitals are more vintage and some are more modern and you can either mix them up or go one way or the other. Look at the little beaded dragonfly. So pretty. Love the silver bird on the front. And then this is just an elastic closure. Keeps it together. This is an altered Reader's Digest. I posted on my Facebook group yesterday asking what everybody's favorite size journal was. I thought that that might help me as a journal creator know what size to make more of. I typically make the nine by six ish size, but I just wanted to see what people were saying. And a lot of people said, Reader's Digest size. And it is a really nice handheld size. So this is an um, altered Reader's Digest book. This is 20 years old. It's from 2000. It's hard to believe that 2000 was 20 years ago. And this is also a challenge journal using the Wisteria and Hydrangea and the other digitals that we have been. Look at that. She had an Hydrangea stamp. That is beautiful. That is so beautiful. Look at the hummingbirds. Love it. So pretty. There's a little ghosted butterfly. She turned into a little journal card. You can always print journal pages smaller and turn them into journal cards. Like this was a journal page that she printed smaller and made a little pocket out of. Gorgeous scrapbook papers. That's a beautiful purple trim. Oh, look at how cute. She made a little pocket out of this tea bag. I love that idea. I was cleaning out my freezer yesterday, found a whole bunch of tea that I keep in the freezer just to keep it fresh for longer. And I think I need to start saving the tea bags or the packaging. They're so pretty and who doesn't love tea, right? So there's that one. All right, let's take a look at this one. I think this one might be from Giselle too. Let's see. Yes, this is from Giselle. 
So it is a flexible fabric soft cover and there's this little crocheted mini and I don't think that I have ever seen a cover crocheted before. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I might have to ask Connie, my mother-in-law, if she wants to crochet some covers because, okay, so look at what she did. She just crocheted this rectangle here, just a simple crochet. And then she um, just left this as a spine and then added cardstock to the front and back. I never in a million years would have thought of that, but I am enthralled. And so this is just a little mini. It feels so good too. You would think, I don't know, I guess I would think crocheting would not be a good medium for a journal cover, but it really feels great in your hand. It opens well. It matches with this. So this is called Miss Wisteria. So she did Miss Rose, Miss Hydrangea, and this one is Miss Wisteria. And look, she did the same thing with the clothes, cut out the digitals. So this is Giselle. We've been going back and forth between Giselle and Kim's journals because they were kind of all mixed up on my um, desk. So I'm going a little faster through this one since some of the same items, but it is still incredible. Look at what she did here too. Turned one of these little receipt papers into a journal card, just made it sturdier so you could write on it easily. And I love that idea. There's another altered playing card. If these slip out. It's like a triple pocket tuck spot. Look at that, a little pocket, a little jeans pocket. How great is that? Beautiful tag. And then you get a pen here, it says Positive Vibes. It's a little vintage postcard. A little bird. Alcohol ink, okay, that's what that medium is, alcohol inks. I actually don't think I have any alcohol inks. That might be something I need to explore. And then of course, um, modeling paste. I just ordered, I love mixed media elements, and I just ordered Lindy's Stamp Gang, I think it's the Magical Powders, uh, taking forever to get here. Um, Amazon is not as fast as it used to be, <laughs> at least where I live, but I'm excited to try those. And I just bought the Gathered Twigs Distress Ink Reinker, the first reinker I've ever bought. I figured by now that I'm three years into this crafting um, business and pro projects, I should start buying some of the reinkers for the colors I use all the time because my a lot of them are almost uh, dry. So I bought the gathered twigs on it from an Etsy shop last night. That was the best way for me to buy a reinker, it seemed like. All right, so there's that one. Um, this is, if any of you ever have D-Stash on mixed media type supplies, let me know. I'd be happy to trade, maybe purchase them from you. I love just playing with a wide variety. So if you have extra sprays and embossing powders or paints, stencils, modeling paste, Nouveau drops, whatever. If you just have random stuff you don't use and you'd like to uh, trade it for some of my digital collections or you'd like to sell it as a lot to me, um, contact me. I'd be happy to work something out with you. I love getting secondhand mixed media supplies. All right, this one is Hydrangea. Is that what it's called? No, just says handmade book cover. So this is a challenge journal from Kim. We're back to another journal by Kim. So pretty. Look at those birds. Love birds. So the coffee dyed papers, book pages, foiled butterflies, just the prettiness of this. The, love the birds on the pages. So pretty. I love this size too. A little narrower. She used upholstery fabric on the spine and she left this cover. So this is like a scrapbook paper and then there is a strip of digital paper on the side and you could put your favorite image on the front or again, leave it understated if you wish. All right, and did I show this one yet? From Here to Eternity, James Jones. And then I think this is a tassel. Look at how pretty. Oh, where does it hook onto? Right there, okay, look at how pretty that is. A little glitter bottle, so pretty. And then that clips right onto this little hitch post. Isn't that pretty? 
This is also from Kim. I don't think this is a challenge journal. This is just a beautiful kind of blue tinged junk journal with gorgeous pages. She knows how to make the flow of the pages so appealing. This is what I always strive for in making my journals is the flow of pages, how it just seems like each page belongs after the next one. So you get a whole bunch of different, there's some Tim Holtz papers, some little calendar pages. Look at that spread right there. Isn't that just so yummy? I love wildflower pages. Look at the little red-breasted sap sucker and the yellow-bellied sap sucker there. A little ephemera holder and a little, look at that. It's a little file folder book. And huh, I didn't notice because it was brown. It is a little chocolate ice cream pop. And that's so cute. I love that little touch of modern to all this grunge, but it doesn't stand out because it's brown. That is so cute. Beautiful, beautiful little pocket there. So that one's available as well. All of these are in the marketplace section. Okay, so then I have two albums from Vicki Phelps. This one, it says Memories. I love that. Isn't that so pretty? The little butterfly, the lace. She is incredible at making these albums. They're great for um, photos and limited journaling. Look at that so gorgeous. I have never made like a memory album. I've played around with some like flip books and things, but every time I see one of these, it just, it's incredible. All right. Lots of pockets, flips, and photo mats. So I won't find everything in here, but there's cards. So there's an envelope with a card. It flips. There's tucks, photo mats, photo mats, lots of flipping and tucking. And I know that I will miss things. Since I'm not an album maker, I don't really know where they always tuck things. But I think, no, that's not a pocket, but lots of places for photos. Lots of flip outs, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Love the rounded corners of the mats. There's a flip up there. And then this pulls out. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. So this is from Vicki. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. She sent me two boxes. She's one of my suppliers and she sent these two albums. So here's the other album we're going to look at, but then she sent another box with some more ephemera folders, some smaller ones. It hasn't come yet. Post office is not reliable these days. So any day now, well, sometime next week, I'll get those shown and, um, you don't want to miss that. So we have a textured paper. Look at that there, the bicycle on the front. So this is another album from Vicki. It's called Rosie. Look at how pretty, so pretty. The papers, oh, you have little pullouts too. They pull out here and they're for journaling and writing, writing photos, gluing photos. So pretty. I'm not going to flip everything open, but you can see gorgeous colors and the foiling so pretty so that is available as well but I think this one came off get that back on there no problem all right so those are those two albums we have a couple supplies here to end the video with and yeah, let's get right into it. So my mother-in-law, she makes the uh, lots of beaded dangles. So she came up with this idea of these beaded ribbons to hang as tassels or yeah, I guess tassels for books. So here's like one, this one doesn't have a bulb pin on it, but uh, do I have a bulb pin? I will put a little safety pin right on that so you can clip it on something. Isn't that gorgeous? So she beaded both sides, one side with white and one side with pink beads. Here's a long pink ribbon that she's beaded both sides with blue beads. Here's a green ribbon that's beaded both sides with blue and green beads and a little pink ribbon with multicolor beads on one side. So that is something I've never seen before. I think these will be gorgeous on uh, part of a tassel for a journal. 
And then she also has a little red set. So here's a red stars, red and white. Really pretty. This would be pretty in a bohemian or gypsy journal. I think the red and the stars would really pop for a boho journal. And then she has some blue. So this is meant. I am so sorry about that. My video kicked off. Fortunately, my phone saved it this time. I think my phone gets overheated in this back room and it just blips. Um, so I think I was showing you the beaded things from my mother-in-law and then I moved on to this mini journal I made and it cut off. So I'm not going to go back through everything, but it's just a little mini journal I made with some wallpaper. It has a slight sewing theme to it. I used some domino images from antique papery um, like these and it just has a really sweet, so there's a little Victoria Designs tag. Um, there's stenciling, there's 64 pages, vintage coffee dyed paper on the front and back. So I'm not gonna go back through that whole thing, but you can see pictures. This is in Lindsay's Handmade. It is a wallpaper cover, it's stitched. So really cute. And then I made these, these were so much fun to make. They're dangles, but they're from a vintage bird book. So I've used the epoxy circle stickers and then I put them over these little bird images and then inked around the edges on the back. And they're just all these different vintage birds and they have that like epoxy sticker over it. So you can clip these on to whatever, but they're all vintage birds from a vintage book. One of the little like golden guide books. So there's several of those, just one set. And then I have a couple of books. So I have a child craft book. This is World in Space. And this is a 1964. So it's just like, um, like stones, rocks, space things, weather things, up in the sky, things like that. I have a garden birds book. And I think I have this book. I love this book. It has all the birds, gorgeous birds. And then I have alphabet cooking cards. Look at these, you can cut them out, make journal cards, put them in your cooking journals. That's vintage. Um, 1990, so it's 30 years old. And then elementary band method. This is a vintage music book from the 60s, 67. And it has lessons, so this would be really cute even to cut out some of London Bridge long, long ago, cut some of these out and use them maybe as belly bands or things like that. So that's all that we have today. We are gonna finish up our June challenge journals tomorrow and I will see all of you then. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it.